Hi, and welcome to the financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. Here we're going to calculate um, video on demand sales. This is a pay per use uh, business model that is very common these days when you uh, lease content. And so here, uh, what we need to know is the number of new users from different go to market strategies. Again, it's done uh, from uh, years one to five. If you want to know how to model different go to market strategies, please watch our past videos. We have four digital marketing, social media, podcast, and influencers. These are major go to market strategies for startups. We need to estimate the number of recurring users, the percentage of users making a purchase, as well as the average monthly purchase amount, which is going to be based on the number of videos on demand per month, as well as the average video price. So let's look at our assumptions for the video on demand uh, marketplace. The average video rent is uh, $4. We're going to assume that uh, per month, um, users rent two videos on average. We're going to also assume that 2% uh, of new users are going to rent, right? In this case, it will be renting, not buying, and 5% uh, of existing users. So uh, again, uh, like we discussed in our previous videos, um, the number of new users come from go-to-market strategy that are uh, in input to this example. So the first step is to calculate the cumulative number of users um, that you have on the platform, and this will be based on how many users you have converted to date. Okay, so then the next step is to calculate how many new users uh, rent videos, right? Uh, and then rent videos here, right? And so this will be the floor function because we want to use a rounding down mechanism uh, to be more conservative and we also don't want to allow any partial conversions. We're going to take our new users and multiply it by our conversion rate of 2% and round it to zero decimal points, paste it forward. Okay, so we don't have any uh, existing users renting videos in the first month because we're just launching, but then we will, we're also gonna use the floor function uh, and use the cumulative number of users to calculate that and a higher conversion rate. Um, okay, and paste that forward. When we want to, uh, uh, for the assumption to apply to uh, multiple cells, we anchor it by using the F4 function uh, on the, uh, in at least the PC. Okay, so then what happens is we're actually ready to calculate our revenues, right? So what it's going to be is that we're going to take the number of new users renting videos, number of ex existing users renting videos, times the price per rental, times the number of videos they rent each month. And we're going to take that forward. And in this case, this marketplace is only making uh, $185,000 approximately, right? So not a lot, right? So in order for this marketplace to be feasible, business, you need to uh, convert a lot more users, right? Because the average price per rental is very small and you probably can't reasonably expect for them to rent more than two videos per month, maybe four, you know, that's something that's going to depend on the user data. Normally where you would come up with the 2% or 5%, uh, this will be based on industry norms uh, for comparable marketplaces. Uh, and as you get your own data, you can replace it with more accurate estimates. And there we go. If you like this video, please comment below, share it with your friends and colleagues, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more financial modeling tips every week. If you want to learn about our unique framework for modeling early stage ventures, please subscribe to our free masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Venture. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next week.